Alan Edgehead here, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man Extreme. It's time to go into the core. Stage is exactly the same as it was in normal mode. <laughs> now we're back to it being the same. Fully charged shot these guys before they hit you. And then we're going to have a boss rematch. Hello, autosave. It annoys me to no end. Okay, I don't know which one's which. Will Gator. His weakness is Magnet Mines. Eh. Whatever, guy. I didn't even hit him with anything. Whatever. I don't care that you're hitting me. I'm getting completely wrecked, though. I'm not even going to get to fill my sub tank. And jump. And jump. Yep. Who's this? Okay. All these guys are going to hit me so where I can't fill up any of my sub tank. Yep, barely, just not enough. Oh, okay, I might be able to beat this guy without getting hit. But I got to hit him in the back. Oh, mate, I don't know what the trick is. If I, I just I hit him in the back and it didn't do anything. Oh, I hit him in the front that time. Well, there goes that theory. There we go. I'm actually going get to get some sub tank energy here. Yep. Last guy should be Morph Moth. I can beat him without taking too much damage. Whew. Whew. Oh, whoop, never mind. So much for that. Especially if he keeps doing that. Hit me when I'm not ready. Well, now he's gonna morph. And he still does his stupid beam. His pattern doesn't reset. Okay, good. I'm gonna get to fill my sub tank up still. Okay. Jump. Jump. I'm going to do a fully charged rolling shield here. Let's see if I can get through this area. Okay. I actually can. That's great. And those guys can actually drop health, so I can fill the sub tank if I had to. Assuming they respawn. Forget it, whatever. I don't even care. I 
I don't need it. I'm just fighting Sigma, who completely wrecked myself, wrecked me in normal mode, but whatever. You made it! Sigma! You've been behind all of this! Yep. Yeah. Didn't you think it was strange that you could defeat me with such easy attacks? You're not wiser than before, X. Now you'll pay for your ignorance. Yes, the text has changed. Because the story slightly changes for this mode. Slightly, but not the very beginning. Okay, thank you, Sigma. Okay, good. He didn't get me. Come on, Goober. I sure wish... X will turn around when I want him to. There we go. Come on, Sigma. Quit doing that and just dash. Oh, nope, not gonna get me, buddy. Nope. Got your toe. What are you gonna do, Sigma? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Whoops. Up, 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 Will you stop that slashing business? And, well, shot the wrong way again. One more hit left. And I beat Sigma without taking damage. Ha ha ha, no matter what you do, it'll be in vain! Ha ha ha! X, it was Sigma again who was behind everything. We're going to destroy Sigma's hiding place completely. To scatter their power, we'll split up from now. Okay, let's go. So it automatically puts us into the final level. No techno scene here. We go straight into the Vilgarder Sigma fight. But we have uh, his weakness this time. Which is the rolling shield, which was his weakness the first time. You're here again. We had fun last time, but playtime is over. Ha ha ha, get ready to be destroyed. It'll be the final battle. I'll finish you at any cost. So, here we go. Sigma's head. They'll guard her Sigma again. Oh, that fire does a lot of damage. But as you can see, the rolling shield's doing as much as a fully charged shot. But we can fire it off way more frequent. Which is why I said hard mode is, funnily enough, easier than normal mode. And he's dead. Why? Why do you win all the time? Where does your power come from? So with that, Vilgarder Sigma's defeated again. We cleaned out the enemies. We can escape from here. Alright, let's go. Thanks to X and Zero's work, Sigma's ambition to take over the computer world will stop, but evil is very tough to completely stop. When evil emerges again, they'll be there to fight. For now, we can only hope that the world will give X and Zero some peace. So here we get the credits again. So, like I said, I played hard mode differently than I normally do. I normally get all the upgrades and stuff, but I didn't want extreme mode to look exactly the same as hard mode, so I did some things to make it a little bit different, to spice it up a little bit. I skipped all the upgrades. So in extreme mode, extreme mode gives you... well, it'll explain it momentarily. I'll explain it a little bit more once uh, somebody tells us about it. I forget who it is, because Midi's dead. Luckily, the credits aren't very long. 
Nothing carries over, I will say that. Extreme mode basically just fuses both modes together. You get all eight Mavericks from the get-go, and you get no story cutscenes. There's no plot points whatsoever, so like, once you get to Vile, he doesn't say anything, and X doesn't say, oh, this place looks familiar on the, the, the highway, so it basically flows better. It's basically the mode you'll always want to play once you unlock it. Because you get all eight Mavericks, and you don't have to play them split up anymore. It's the, the, the ultimate mode of Mega Man Extreme. You would say it's even the namesake of the game, but it, Extreme Mode's spelled right, and the game's spelled Extreme, like Mega Man X. Yeah. But the credits are over. And as you can see... Oh, it is, it's Techno that tells us about it. A challenge from Techno. Hump. You have done very well. I didn't expect that you would defeat Hard Mode. But, do you have what it takes to complete the Extreme Mode? Which I programmed for you? This is an awesome mode containing 8 stages to clear. All 8 Mavericks. Keep in mind that you can't use the save data that you've cleared. There are no story sequences, as it is specialized just for battle. So why don't you save your data here and go for it, if you have the guts. Hope to see you again. <laughs> so, watch what happens when we save over our hard mode data. We have nothing. Nothing carries over. And even you could pick extreme mode and it'll start over. It throws us right into the game. So let me reset that. Okay, forget all that. Let me get back into the extreme file we had going. Skip the opening cutscene. Continue. No, I don't want to load it. I'll load it from here. So, next time on Let's Play Mega Man Extreme, we'll tackle Extreme Mode. All eight Mavericks. All four sub tanks, all eight heart tanks, and all four zero attacks. I'm Alan Edgehead, and get ready to go extreme. <laughs>